a good day everyone and we're outside walking in our backyard checking if the daffodils bloom already some of them are really trying hard to come out there. some are blooming right there can you hear the birds chirping? Sounds cool. So since I'm doing this video, might as well talk about why I had hysterectomy as I promised to... I mentioned it on my last video. I did have hysterectomy because of adenomyosis, a thickening of my uterus, I have polyps, I think some called it fibroids. 2018 I got some fibroids removed in around 2021 I got myself checked again and I had new growth and so and at the same time, every time I have my period, I get severe dysmenorrhea, severe cramping, uh, deb debilitating pain, heavy bleeding. Um, it really stopped me from going to work, going to church, doing activities with our child. All I do is stay in the house, lay down. That's it. So when I talked to my doctor, we thought about getting rid of the fibroids, but and then I want to get rid of the pain every time I have my period. So we talk about birth control pill because if I can take it again, because birth control pill stops you from getting um, your period. So that way, if I don't have my period. I won't get any severe cramps but then I have bad history with birth control because let us say I'll take birth control now and I I observe this I've been taking it for like what 13 years within six months it works really good on me no cramps nothing like that life is good but then after six months it, it makes me like a crazy person like psychologically it doesn't help me a lot um, I don't know makes me like a crazy woman my mood is, is worse I'm very irritable my mood swings is just really bad um, it makes me like I don't like anybody you know so and I don't like a lot of things I don't know it just I'm my my attitude is off the wall after six months it just I don't I'm like a crazy lady so I, and I so I don't want to sort to taking birth control just to stop me from um, having new growth or um, prevent me from having any type of serious uterine um, condition so it leads me to another option which is IUD um, but IUD I, I think there's two kinds that my doctor mentioned one with hormones one with uh, just I think re regular IUD which is just to stop you from getting pregnant which really um, it's not my husband my husband and I's concern because we're, we're done of having kids and the other IUD, it has hormones in it, which I refuse because I don't like what the hormones is doing to my brain. So it leaves me to think and read and research about hysterectomy because uh, it, I only... I have to think of the dysmenorrhea, the severe cramps, and the only way, and the growth, um, 
that I have because if I have it removed right now there's a lot of possibility that I'll have a new growth so I did my research and I thought I think I'm just gonna go for hysterectomy so I did hysterectomy um, I did the laparoscopic um, hysterectomy uh, I got four four cuts in my stomach my belly belly button on the right side I th uh, upper uh, lower part of my stomach and then two on the left one on my groin and one alongside my belly button um, I got like soreness more on my left side and my doctor said because she works on, on this area a lot uh, I did not stay at the hospital I went home oh, we went I went home at night we went there like early in the morning and then we get out at seven o'clock um, four days was really difficult for me everything was stiff I can't bend you know I can't bend over I can stretch the most difficult thing was getting up from bed that was the hardest thing if I have to pick something I just I use my legs I don't curl my stomach I just you know bend my legs keep my body straight so all the strength um, when I want to pick up something is from my legs um, and after a while I was good I, I tried not to stretch or anything like that because you can feel, feel like when you're reaching for something you can feel the pain it it, uh, it just doesn't allow you to do much so just listen to your doctor um, and now I'm on I think on my 10th 10th week and I'm doing really good uh, I started I actually start walking on my I think eighth week on the treadmill and then I started walk and jog just slowly at the park um, like last week on my ninth ninth week I'm actually I thankfully I'm really doing good and I would say that it's the best decision I've ever made although I still can feel like my body's telling me I'm getting my period yeah. <laughs> I still feel a little bit of cramps here and there um, I still I still ovulate I keep my calendar my menstrual calendar like a cycle app it's called flow I keep it on my phone even if after my hysterectomy so I will be able to watch the cycle of you know how my body is every time I reach to that cycle when I used to have my period and it's still it's pretty that calendar is pretty consistent my body is pretty consistent except I don't have the bleeding I, I, I feel like I still have the symptom of headache tiredness um, increase appetite cravings like as if my period is coming in two weeks I still have that but so far I am really really good and if you have that app and you're going for hysterectomy keep the app because at least it will give you an idea how your body is doing you know after hysterectomy mine I will still experience ovulation like I'm having a menstrual cycle because I have I still have both of my ovaries um, so I'm doing well if you're experiencing dysmenorrhea severe cramps during your period hot compress really helps a lot that's that's what I use because I know everybody's different but on my part I use hot compress and ibuprofen that's it and then rest watch movie drink your tea hot chocolate that's all I did 
uh, but hot compress is, is like a miracle thing it works for me it helps me sleep I mean I have to go through a lot of pain first you know it doesn't work right away but I would say it does help a lot well I don't want to talk too much on this video I hope um, you learn something um, I hope it helps you a little bit this is just based on my experience uh, I hope you ladies have a good day if you're listening to this video God bless you um, maybe next time again I'll make a short video bye